Good day, adventurer. Hi there. come in all different sizes. They can be as tiny as a few millimeters wide or span out over 10 feet from claw to claw, like the Japanese spider crab. Did you know that white chocolate isn't really chocolate? It's made out of sugar, milk products, vanilla, cocoa butter, and other ingredients, but no actual chocolate. Did you know that white chocolate isn't really chocolate? It's made out of sugar, milk products, vanilla, cocoa butter, and other ingredients, but no actual chocolate. Jellyfish can move through water in many different ways. They can use cilia to flutter and move through water, or they can pull in and push out water in order to move up and down and back and forth. Hiya, buddy.
Jellyfish can move through water in many different ways. They can use cilia to flutter and move through water. Or they can pull in and push out water in order to move up and down and back and forth. Have you ever noticed the shape of a honeycomb? Bees build honeycombs that are made up of hexagons, shapes with six sides. They do this to maximize the amount of wax and honey in the space they have. Have you ever noticed the shape of a honeycomb? Bees build honeycombs that are made up of hexagons, shapes with six sides. They do this to maximize the amount of wax and honey in the space they have. Hey, dude. Bioluminescence is the biochemical emission of light and is found in many marine organisms. About 50% of jellyfish are bioluminescent. In jellyfish, this is used for defense against predators.
The colors and markings on emperor penguin chicks are very different from adults, so they can easily be recognized, especially in huge colonies. It helps them stand out against ice and snow and be found by their parents. The colors and markings on emperor penguin chicks are very different from adults, so they can easily be recognized, especially in huge colonies. It helps them stand out against ice and snow and be found by their parents. Thank 
Scientists have found that peanut butter is so rich in carbon that it's possible to turn it into diamonds. The process is complicated and includes putting immense pressure on the carbon. But think about that next time you have your PB&J sandwich. Scientists have found that peanut butter is so rich in carbon that it's possible to turn it into diamonds. The process is complicated and includes putting immense pressure on the carbon. But think about that Ooh. next time you have your PB&J sandwich. The tomato was once thought of as a poison apple because some people would get sick and die after eating them. But it wasn't really the tomato's fault. The acid from tomatoes would cause certain types of dinner plates to leak lead into the tomatoes and poison people. 